Hi everybody! Do you want to see your iPad apps and media on a TV-sized screen? Chromecast is a pretty good way to screen mirror iPad to Chromecast. And if you're going to use it, you'll also need a mirroring app. That's right, iPad OS doesn't support Chromecast natively. But don't worry, these apps are user-friendly. First off, we'll take a look at Doecast, a great app overall. You won't have any difficulty seeing everything it has to offer, since the features and options are not locked in the free version, and you won't be pelted with ads. Plus, it can be bought permanently, saving you some money on subscription costs in the long term. Want to see how to mirror iPad to Chromecast? Let's get to it. Install Doecast from the App Store, launch it, and give permissions. Connect it with your Chromecast. It has to be on the same network, by the way. Select Mirroring. Here are the settings, quality, rotation, sound, tweak them, or start right away. Now we can put this mirroring session to use. Just take a look. Great, isn't it? Lawless performance. The image quality is pretty high for a mirroring app. I even feel confident enough to use it for games. Okay, the next app is screen mirroring, Smart View TV. It has some downsides compared to Doecast, such as not being able to enable sound in the free version, but it's definitely usable. As you will see, the setup process is unnecessarily convoluted. We'll try the app out right now. Here's a tutorial on how to cast iPad screen to Chromecast in Smart View TV. Once you've installed and started up the app, grant the permissions. Complete this short questionnaire. I'm not sure if it affects anything, we finally get to select our Chromecast. Skip the premium offer and choose Screen Mirroring. Then start broadcast. The delay is not the best, and I can't really evaluate the sound quality with it disabled. Mediocre. I'm not sure if it's worth upgrading. As a little extra, I'll also cover Wired Mirroring. This way to mirror iPad to Chromecast is as simple as it gets and doesn't require any apps or even a Chromecast. You will need an adapter, and the tablet will have to be connected to the TV or the monitor at all times. Depending on your needs, this may be enough. Start by turning on the TV. Plug the cable into the iPad's charging slot. The other end goes into an HDMI port on the receiving device. If the TV didn't switch to the right source automatically, select it manually. Naturally, since this is wired, the latency is almost non-existent. The quality is also perfect. If you don't care about convenience and portability, this may be the way for you. And there we go. Lots of options to choose from, even though I recommend Doecast in most cases. Tell me in the comments how you're planning to use mirroring. I'm curious if there will be any new ideas. Like and subscribe too, it helps the channel. Thanks everyone, I'm out.